Hi kindergartners! See, I know that you have been learning about subtracting two. So, as you can see, I put up our charts like we have in class. I put up our even chart and our odd number chart. So let's review those. If you can remember from when we were in class, the even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And come down here to the odd. The odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So when we are subtracting by 2, I want to show you two ways that you can figure it out. So if I have the problem 8 minus 2, let's just look and review what this problem is telling us. So the first number we start with, 8, is telling us the number of things we have. So if we're using cubes, we are starting with 8 cubes. This sign here tells us to do what? It tells us, it tells us to subtract. That means take something away. So our second number tells us how many things we're taking away. So if I start with 8, I have a subtraction sign, so I'm taking away, and it told me to take away 2 cubes. One way to figure out what my answer is, is just to count the cubes that are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have six cubes left, so that's my answer. So I know that 8 minus 2 equals 6. So I'll write my answer here. Eight minus two equals six. That's one way to figure out our problem. Another way is to look at our even or odd chart. So when we are looking at the first number telling us how many we're starting with, is eight an even or an odd number? It is an even number. So we're gonna look right here on our even chart. And remember when we were figuring these out, how many jumps are in between each number? So if I went from 8 to 6, how many jumps am I taking backwards? So I would have to count backwards. So I would have to think 8, 7, 6. How many jumps did it take me to get to 6? two jumps. So that's the same thing as taking away or subtracting two from a number. So what you have to do is find the number that you're starting with. You're starting with eight and all you have to do is look at the number that's right before it on our chart and that's your answer when you're subtracting by two. So let's try it with an odd number. Let's do, let's see, let's try five. I'm starting with five cubes and I want to take away two. I want to subtract two from five. So our problem would be, okay, remember the number we're starting with? Five, subtraction sign since we're taking away and we're taking away two. So we have five minus two. We wanna know what that equals. So I'm gonna use my blocks first. I have five cubes and I'm subtracting two. So I'm taking the top two, taking them away. One way to figure out how many I have left, I'm just gonna count the cubes. One, two, three. 3 is my answer. Now if I wanted to do this a, sim a shorter way to figure out 5 minus 2, I would just look at my chart. So we said 3 was our answer. Let's look at this. We started on 5. If we look at the number right before it, was that our answer? It was.
words. Three was our answer. So that is two ways that you can figure out your subtracting two problems. You can use your blocks, the blocks or your fingers, or anything that you can look at and um, use with your hands. Or you can look at your even or odd chart. Whatever number you are starting with, that's what number you find on the chart. And when you subtract two, you look at the number that is right before it. Okay? So if that's too confusing for you, if the even and odd charts are just, just making your brain hurt, stick with the cubes, stick with your fingers. That is a perfect way to figure out your subtracting two problems. And if this works for you, if you can figure out um, your subtracting two problems using your even and odd charts, that is a perfect way to do it too. So I hope these helped you. And I hope that you are continuing to practice your subtracting two facts.